Hey everybody, Keith K here, and we are back in the South Pacific of Stranded Deep. And in today's tutorial, we're going to look at two items you can craft uh, to heal bleeding. Uh, bleeding will occur when you are attacked by a shark or one of the bosses, so it's important to be prepared to treat that. And there are two items we can craft under consumables on your crafting menu that will treat that. The first one is bandage. That's going to take um, one lashing and one cloth. And the second one is the gauze, which requires a kuawa fruit, a kura fruit, <clears throat> and a coconut flask. So straight away, um, I'm going to say that the bandage is, is the much better course to go. Both of these will stop bleeding, and both of these will heal two, um, two pips on your health meter there once uh, you've been attacked and are bleeding. Um, and... The, uh, the bandage is crafted of items that are in turn both crafted uh, from the fibrous leaves, right? And as I've said before, uh, I think the fibrous leaves are the best uh, or most important resource in the game. So you wanna have plenty of those on hand. Uh, but we'll also cover uh, how to craft the gauze um, just because you might be interested in that. So first up, we're gonna take a look at the bandage. Uh, and like I said, that's, uh, that's going to require um, plenty of these fibrous leaves, which you'll find from the yucca tree. And you don't have to farm it like I've done here. I like to have at least one um, farmed and available. Uh, but these respawn rather often. I'm going to grab a potato while I'm at it. Uh, and also, I don't think I have any... Yeah, I do. These uh, palm tree saplings will also give you fibrous leaves. And um, there's plenty of those on every island, and they also respawn, as well as the wild, um, I've probably have harvested all these, but the, the wild uh, yucca trees will also respawn. So that's one thing that you really um, will have in abundance, as long as you're, you're collecting them regularly. And we're going to need eight of them, so we've got plenty now. And we'll head over to our loom. It is important to have the loom built so that you can um, craft cloth. If you aren't f familiar with the loom, well, that's not what I wanted to do. If you aren't familiar with the loom, um, I will link to a tutorial I've done on that previously. Let me just get this going. So first off, let's go ahead and craft our lashing. And again, the lashing, uh, if you're not familiar, it's just four fibrous leaves, so we've got our lashing here. And then the other thing we, we will craft is our cloth, which also uh, requires four fibrous leaves and the loom. So we'll go ahead and craft that. Now that we have both of those, we can craft the bandage. Okay, so we'll have the bandage in our inventory here, one medical dose. Uh, that leaves us with an extra fibrous leaf. I'm just going to put these over here. Now let's take a look at the, the gauze. So the gauze again, go ahead and pin that. Requires the two fruits and the flask. So if you are going to use this regularly, you definitely are going to want to plant both these trees. Um, and uh, I've got a farming tutorial that I'll link to here if you are interested in um, how to get these set up. But these will produce uh, fruits regularly. The, the trees that you'll find on the islands will not um, respawn to fruits for whatever reason. Um, the developers chose to only have the yucca fruit respawn. So if you are going to use gauze, you definitely want to plant, uh, plant the trees. Otherwise, you will be running around to uh, various islands trying to find these and you'll run out at some point. Um, and then the other thing we need is the coconut flask, which is pretty straightforward. That's just a coconut and a lashing. I've got plenty of those um, stored up here. So we're gonna go to our quick craft menu and craft that. And it, the one thing I always remind folks, and you've heard me say it before, if you've seen my other tutorials is uh, drink that one serving, why waste it? Um, you don't need a full flask, so we've got uh, one hydration out of that, and we're still able to craft our gauze. 
All right, so now we've got our bandage and our gauze ready to go. The next thing we do need to do is uh, to go get ourselves injured. So I'll be right back uh, once I find a shark. You know, these sharks are always around when you're not looking for them. <laughs> and then when you are looking to hunt one, there's nothing here. Okay, and we are now bleeding, courtesy of the tiger shark here. Uh, you can see we've lost four health, um, although he bit me more than once, and uh, the first time didn't cause bleeding, but now you can see we have the status effect of bleeding uh, occurring, and we'll first uh, give the bandage a try. So again, uh, let's take a look at this. We've got three health. We'll apply the bandage. And you can see two of our um, health pips have recovered and the status effect of bleeding is gone. All right, and next up, we're gonna give the gauze a try. So you can see we're back to bleeding and are down to three health with the bleeding effect in place. And we'll grab our gauze. Go ahead and consume that. And you can see we've again recovered the two pips on our health and the bleeding status effect is gone. Um, so that's gonna do it for this tutorial. Uh, again, I think that the bandage is the much better way to go from a resource management perspective, but uh, now you know how to do both. And uh, if you enjoyed this video or it helped you out in your play, um, please do consider giving it a like. And uh, if you want to get notified of future videos, um, please do subscribe. Um, getting close to the end of this set of uh, Stranded Deep tutorials, and I'm going to be looking um, to move on to another game. And I'm going to drop a survey uh, on the channel, and I'd love to hear which of the games that I'm considering you're most interested in. That'll help me decide um, which ones to uh, move on to next. So as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate everybody's support, and I'll see you back here soon.